Viral on social media is video footage of a YouTuber from South Korea named Jaya, who was invited to play at a hotel by a man while making video content. Jaya is tasting food at the Raja Oki restaurant in Manadu. Then he was greeted by someone who invited him to eat together at one table. The men introduced themselves as Albert and Alex. Not only that, Albert also asked for Jaya's Instagram and phone number. It was recently discovered that a man who claimed his name was Albert was an employee of the Ministry of Transportation. Albert, whose real name is Azri Damuna, serves as head of the Sanjia Nibandara Kalaka Airport Organizing Unit Office, Southeast Sulawesi. The Ministry of Transportation immediately examined Azri Damuna. The inspection was carried out because the official invited a YouTuber from South Korea named Jaya to play at the hotel. This incident was known from video clips that went viral on social media. During this examination process, Azri was temporarily relieved of his duties. A video has circulated showing a group of private university students in South Tangerang allegedly being beaten and abused while praying. In the video, it can be seen that the beating started with the provocation of the head of the local neighborhood association. As a result, a number of residents were provoked and attacked the students, leaving several victims injured and traumatized. Students who held a rosary prayer service in South Tangerang admitted that they shouted harsh words when they were raided by residents. At that time, 15 students participated in the prayer activity. A South Tangerang resident was hit by a sharp weapon while protecting a student who was attacked by local residents while praying, Sunday the 5th of May 2024. The police succeeded in arresting the four suspected perpetrators and confiscating a number of pieces of evidence. It is known that suspect D.S. role as head of the neighborhood association was to shout in a loud voice with curses and intimidation at the victim. Meanwhile, another suspect played a role carrying a sharp knife-type weapon which was used to scare and threaten the victim. As a result of their actions, the perpetrators face a maximum prison sentence of 10 years. The three sharp weapons used by the perpetrators have now been seized by officers as evidence. Satara Institute data shows that in the 2007 to 2022 period, there were 573 cases of disturbances to places of worship and worship that occurred in Indonesia. The case of the disbandment of the Pamulang University Students' Rosary Service shows that intolerance and hatred continue to be a threat to the right to freedom of religion and belief, which must be constitutionally guaranteed by the state and government. The Food and Drug Supervisory Agency, BPOM, has opened its voice regarding the withdrawal of the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine worldwide. The withdrawal of the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine was carried out by AstraZeneca starting Tuesday 7 May, 2024. AstraZeneca was withdrawn for commercial reasons, they denied that the withdrawal of the vaccine was due to rare side effects. Previously, AstraZeneca admitted that its vaccine triggered rare side effects in the form of thrombosis with thrombocytopenia or thrombosis with thrombocytopenia syndrome, TTS.
BPOM confirmed that the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine is no longer circulating in Indonesia. Apart from that, the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine is no longer used in vaccination or immunization programs. BPOM said that the vaccine made by the British-Swedish company has greater benefits than the side effects it causes. The results of a World Health Organization study show that the incidence of thrombosis with thrombocytopenia syndrome, TTS, associated with the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine is categorized as very rare. This means that this case occurs less than one time in 10,000 incidents. This very rare TTS event occurred in the period 4 to 42 days after administering the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine dose. If it occurs outside this period, the TTS incident is not related to the use of the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine. 